Here is a description of the performer's actions. Last time we drew the sheet up to page 4. Let's play it back. When the performance starts, the instruments are still lowered. Let's set the horn action. Let's play it again and see where we want the horns to go up. We want to use these two counts to raise the bell. Sheet 2 is what manages the movement from sheet number 1 to sheet number 2. Select sheet number 2 and then select all performers. Select Horn Action from the menu Performer. You can have up to two horn actions per sheet. You can set up two actions on one sheet, for example, 1 and 2 raise the bell, 3 and 4 lower the bell. In this case, we will only set one action, so we will check only horn action 1. Changing the number changes the way the instrument is held. This time we will choose 1. This green count is 1, so we set the start count to 3 and the complete count to 4. The start count cannot go before the complete count, so move the right side knob, complete count, first. Click on Set. Now the instrument is ready to play. Now let's play it. The horn action has been added as shown here. The horn action you set will be continued until the next sheet that is set. Now that we have set the horn up, the instrument will remain up even if we add a new sheet until the next instruction. And if I want to take the instrument down, I specify horn down at that point. We want a sense of speed, so we want the movement from sheet number 1 to sheet number 2 to be a double tempo walk. Select sheet number 2 because the movement is between sheet number 1 and sheet number 2, i.e., sheet number 2. Select brass and battery because the color guard is not moving. From the menu, Performer, select Step Time, Double Time. Let's play it back. As you can see, only the movement of the second sheet will walk at double tempo. To create even more of a first impact, let's turn the first set backwards. Select sheet number 0. Select brass and battery. From the menu, 
Performer, select the Turn setting. Here, too, you can set up two turns per sheet. Check the box for Turn Set 1. Click the up arrow to leave the angle setting as it is. Click on the Set button and leave both the start and end counts at zero, since we are setting backwards from the beginning. The selected performer will now be facing backwards. Let's play it back. The performer is now facing backward all the way. Now, let's tell the performer when to turn forward. Turn forward at 2, 3, and 4 on sheet number 2, as if you were turning while raising the bell. Select sheet number 2. Select the turn setting from the menu performer. Select the turn setting from the menu performer. Check the box for Turn Set 1. Click the down arrow with the Angle Set. You can set the turn to the right or to the left. In this case, we will set it to clockwise. Set the Complete Count to 4 and the Start Count to 1. As explained earlier, you need to start with the Complete Count. Click on Settings. Now let's play it back. The BD line should turn sideways when it turns. It now turns. If you look closely, you can see that we are stepping slightly in front of sheet number 1, so we'll designate sheet number 1 as a halt so it doesn't move. Select sheet number 1 and select all performers. Click on this button. Now the selected performer is halt. Let's play it back. With this, unnecessary mark time will no longer be conducted. Now let's add a sheet number 5. Click on sheet number 4 to add a sheet. Click and drag to the fourth beat. We want to make this sheet a halt. I would like to explain a little about the halt function here. Select a performer and click this button to set a halt. If the selected performer has a halt button, the button will turn blue. If the selected performer has both a halt and a not halt, the halt button will turn green. In this case, all performers will be set to halt, so select all performers and click on the halt button. The halt button is not a beat-based selection, but rather the performer will be halt for the duration of the sheet. Let's play it back. Now we have a halt, but sheets number 4 and number 5 are in the same formation, so we are printing a useless page. I would like to not print sheet number 4, but if I set this button to not print, the sheet number 4 will be omitted. So, we make sheet number 4 a subsheet. 
Then the sheet numbers are recalculated, and the number 5 becomes number 4, as shown here. Then, on this sheet, you can write textual instructions such as move 8 halt 4. If you want to halt the entire image, you can set up the sheet like this for better visibility. Now, let's play it back from the beginning. Horn action, turns, and steps have been added to make it more realistic. These actions are only expressed in text as annotations when they are made into a drill sheet, so there is no need to set them up in such detail. However, by setting them up in this way, you can reproduce them more realistically and use them as a reference for more effective staging, so please take advantage of them. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching.